This is primetime half sheet number two. Number one says, Mark does 20 sit-ups every morning for 80 consecutive days. How many sit-ups does he do? Our key word, words are how many, and then we have 20 sit-ups and 80. That's not the best color to use. So we have 20 sit-ups, 80 consecutive days. I know how many I can either add, so 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 all the way up to 80 times, or I can simply do 80 times 20, and really what I'm going to do because I have those zeros, 8 times 2 is 16, and I'm going to add the two zeros. So Mark did 1,600, there's my comma, 1,600 sit-ups. Number two says, the top five finishers in a race received $25 each. How much money did they give out? So again, this one's a little tricky. Our key word is each. So, I want to know, it says, how much money did they give out? So it's wondering how much total money was given. Again, you can add 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25, or you can do 25 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. I'm going to write off to the side so I have some space. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. So, the finishers got a total of $125. Number three, change one-fourth into a percent. Now, fourths are interesting. I should have said this yesterday for the three-fourths. Think of quarters. One quarter is 25 cents. You have one-fourth of a dollar. Two quarters is one half of a dollar, 50 cents, 50%, 50 and so on. So again, here you have to divide the numerator, the one, by four. Well, you can't do that, so you add your zero. Four goes into ten two times. Two times four is eight. Bring it down. Bring a zero down. You have five. So 25%. The next one, we have one-third plus one-half. First question we have to ask ourselves is, can you add these together? No, because the denominators are not the same. So I'm going to list my multiples of three, so if I do 3, 6, 9, 12, I can then list my multiples of 2. 2, 4, 6. They have 6 in common. So I have to do 1 third times 1, 2. So that equals 2 6. And then if I do my 1 half, 1, 2, 3 to get to 6. So it would be 2 thirds plus 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6, so then we have 5 6. So 1 third plus 1 half is 5 6. You must show your work. I'm going to erase the bottom ones and just write the answer so you, you have those to check yourself if you need to. But if you don't have any work, you're not going to get credit for your half sheet. Number five says, the gas tank of Randy's truck holds 25 gallons of ga 20 gallons of gas. I'm going to highlight that. That seems important. He filled it up and drove 240 miles before the gas tank was empty. On average, how many miles, so we're looking for how many miles, did Randy's truck travel on one gallon of gas? Now, we know how much he put into his gas tank, 20 gallons. 
We know how much he drove on that gas tank, 240. We need to figure out how much gas he was using or how many miles he used per gallon of gas. So we're going to take that 240 and divide it by 20. 20 goes into 24 one time. 4 minus 0 is 4. 2 minus 2 is 0. Bring that 4 down. 20, time, 20 goes into 42 times. You can finish the rest. So he was going, he got 12 miles per gallon of gas. Again, make sure this is done. Make sure all of your work is there and turn it in.